is our doctor. Wherever you were. Team. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not a team. We're not a team. <sighs> Marvel enthusiasts, brace yourselves for exciting news! At San Diego Comic-Con 2022, Kevin Feig, the mastermind behind Marvel, unveiled the much-anticipated Phase 5's lineup of the MCU and even dropped hints about Phase 6. This reveal promises to introduce a slew of fresh characters and stories while revisiting some of our beloved heroes, including Carol Danvers. And here are some of the must-knows before watching the last movie of Phase 5. A much anticipated headline of the MCU's upcoming movies is undoubtedly The Marvels. The sequel to Captain Marvel is not just interesting, it's potentially a game changer for the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Despite a series of delays and swirling rumors about storyline adjustments, The Marvels is set to be the grand finale of Phase 5, slated for a 2023 release. It's not merely a sequel to Captain Marvel, but also closely weaves together narratives from Ms. Marvel and WandaVision. Now let's talk about the uncanny trio leading in charge of the Marvels. Brie Larson reprises her role as Carol Danvers, better known as Captain Marvel. Joining her are Aman Vellani as Kamala Khan, a compelling Ms. Marvel, and Tayona Paris, now equipped with extraordinary powers as Monica Rambeau. The importance of the Marvels goes beyond just another superhero movie. It promises to reshape the landscape of the MCU as we know it. So while we've experienced several delays, rest assured that the final product will be well worth the wait. Mark your calendars for this transformative cinematic experience coming away in 2023. The Marvels is about to take us on an extraordinary journey through the Marvel Universe. The Marvels journey back to 2019 when it's officially confirmed. By 2020, gears of production were in motion and the excitement was palpable. However, the road to its release has been a bit of a roller coaster. Marvel's Phase 5, in which the Marvels plays a significant role, went through some substantial changes compared to the original plan. The arrival of Ms. Marvel and WandaVision on Disney Plus added vital pieces to the narrative puzzle, weaving together the intricate web of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Nia DaCosta, the talent behind Candyman and Little Woods, took the reins as director while screenwriting duties were shared among a talented team, including Zeb Wells, Alicia Karasik, and Megan McDonald. The collaboration promised a fresh and dynamic approach to storytelling within the MCU. The release date of the Marvels has been the subject of multiple shifts thanks to countless challenges the ever-persistent COVID-19 pandemic, the continuously evolving MCU schedule, and the relentless pursuit of perfection in post-production CDI have contributed to four rescheduled release dates. Originally slated for a July 2022 premiere, it was pushed to November of the same year, then to February 2023, and subsequently to its initial July 2023 slot before landing on its current November 10 date. Despite the delays, the anticipation for The Marvels remains as high as ever. The twists and turns in production journey only serve to heighten the excitement, promising a cinematic experience that's well worth the wait. Mark your calendars for November 10, 2023, as the Marvels is set to deliver an unforgettable chapter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Marvels boasts an impressive ensemble cast that promises to bring depth and excitement to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Free Larson is back, reprising her role as the intergalactic hero Carol Danvers, affectionately known as Captain Marvel. Joining her are two newcomers, Amand Vellani and Tayona Paris, each with their own unique stories to tell. Amand Vellani takes on the role of Kamala Khan, or Ms. Marvel, a character whose introduction in the MCU has been highly anticipated. Kamala Khan is known for her shape-shifting abilities and her vibrant, relatable personality, making her a beloved character among Marvel fans. Tayona Paris, who first graced our screens as a former S.W.O.R.D. agent in WandaVision, returns as Monica Rambeau. During her journey in the TV series, Monica gained extraordinary powers. It's exciting to see how her character continues to evolve in the Marvels. Her connection to Carol Danvers goes back to her childhood, adding an emotional layer to their dynamic. Not to mention, Monica's mother, Maria, portrayed by Lashana Lynch in Captain Marvel, was not only Carol's best friend, but also held the title of Captain Marvel of Earth 838 in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. These intricate connections enrich the storytelling within the MCU. But every superhero needs a formidable adversary, and the Marvels delivers with Zor Ashton, portraying Dar Ben, a Kree accuser, with a bone to pick with Captain Marvel. Dar Ben is introduced in the trailer wielding a universal weapon that can transform matter, making her a significant threat to the trio heroes in The Marvels. Director Nia DaCosta revealed that Dar Ben has tampered with their abilities, causing them to swap places when used, which adds a fascinating layer to challenging for our heroes. And the surprises don't stop there. Captain Marvel's trusty sidekick, Goose the Flurkin, makes a return and this time she comes with a bundle of adorable kittens, ready to steal our hearts. For fans of K-drama, drum rolls please, the popular Park C. June of Parasite fame joins the cast as Prince Yarn. He's not just an ally but could potentially become a love interest for Carol Danvers. The supporting cast is well-rounded as well, with Zenobia Shroff, Moran Kapoor, Sagar Shank returning to fill the roles of Kamal Khan's mother, father and brother respectively. 
These characters add depth to Kamala's story, grounding her in a relatable family dynamic. In the Marvels, there's an exciting possibility of surprise guests making an appearance. The latest trailer drops an intriguing hint that a character from the Thor corner of the MCU might make a cameo. As the trailer unfolds, the iconic Asgardian Bifrost makes an entrance, and Captain Marvel drops a line that piques curiosity. I called a friend. What's even more intriguing is a flashback to a moment when many of MCU's formidable women joined forces, featuring Captain Marvel and the mysterious character from the Thor franchise, possibly Valkyrie. Could Carol have reached out to Valkyrie for assistance in the challenges that await in the Marvels? It's a question that leaves fans eager to see if this unexpected alliance becomes a reality. The movie's storyline appears to pick up where the post credit scenes of Ms. Marvel from Phase 4 left off. In this scene, Carol Danvers and Kamala Khan swap places, with Carol finding herself in Kamala's family home. The trailer for the Marvel sheds light on the consequences of this switcheroo. Every time our heroes use their powers, they find themselves switching places, a result, a mission Captain Marvel embarked on, bringing her close to a strange wormhole. The labyrinth of powers is bound to create tons of complications for the trio. And to make matters worse, a menacing new threat emerges in the form of Zor Ashton's villain, as mentioned before. It all adds up to an exciting action-packed adventure that awaits in The Marvels. So The Marvels is cooking up some real excitement. The official synopsis hints that Captain Marvel's past actions have caused some cosmic trouble, and this fits right into the whole multiverse theme that's been brewing in the MCU. We might be looking at some reality-bending shenanigans, and Zor Ashton's villain is here to stir the pot, even if it's on a smaller scale compared to what might be coming in the future. Now, there have been three trailers leading up to this big release, April 11, July 21, and the final one on August 31, 2023. Each of them has given us a sneak peek into Captain Marvel's journey since Avengers Endgame and the post credit scene in Ms. Marvel. Now, the Marvels is about to have a big impact on the MCU. Ms. Marvel revealed Kamala Khan as MCU's first mutant, and you bet we'll be diving deeper into that in the movie. This new trio of heroes is set to expand the cosmic side of the MCU, especially since Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 in May 2023 marks the end of their spacefaring adventures. So mark your calendars for November 10, 2023, because The Marvels is coming, and Captain Marvel's sequel chatter is only getting started. As for Brie Larson's space hero, she's got her hands full. While she became a full-fledged Avenger, she's been more like a cosmic freelancer, jetting around the universe to keep things in check. She had popped back to Earth when there was a Thanos-sized problem to handle. Well, that joke didn't age well. But this movie synopsis and the latest trailer gave us a taste of what's in store. Let's just say the Marvel Universe is about to get even wilder. An action-packed movie with enough emotions and a strong independent trio of women who can fly and zap people, count us in. Get ready for the Marvels in theaters on November 10, 2023. Make sure to watch it and let us know what you think about it in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to click on that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.